I'm building my perfect wardrobe with absolutely zero dollars. This is episode six, and if you missed the previous episodes of this series, I've challenged myself to rebuild my closet and purchase a whole new wardrobe. The only problem is I can't spend any of my own cash. To make this challenge even more difficult, I must first sell or trade my current closet through social media so I can then use that money to buy some new pieces. I've said bye to a bunch of pieces and welcomed in quite a few new ones in the first five episodes. And most notably, in the last episode, I did a whole entire haul of some new clothes from these fire jeans to a few pieces from Zara not to mention my favorite pickup of the episode which were these green adidas campuses now before I get into our perfect wardrobe fun I did pick up a few new pieces off camera and as we know the drip always comes first so let's go ahead and take a look at my new pickup since the last episode now, as you guys can see from the rack beside me, I have quite a few pieces here. There's actually a total of six different pieces up here on the rack. And no, I didn't purchase all of them. I definitely didn't have that much money left in the fund to buy this much clothing. Let me go ahead and get the mic situated so I got some free hands. And let's go ahead and just dive into the pieces. First, I got two tees that were sent out to me for free from one of my followers. So y'all make sure to go show some love because they are some pretty unique graphic tees from the brand called Brody Boutique. I will go ahead and leave their Instagram down in the description below. But this first tee here is a dope play on Disney. And it's literally Goofy, Daffy Duck, and Mickey Mouse getting like high off of their own supply. It's honestly a really different graphic. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear it, but I do know when I pull this out, I just feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments because this graphic is so unique. Moving on to the second one, it's kind of like an Easter themed graphic. It's got like floating air balloon slash eggs with some peace signs down at the bottom. Once again, their Arc Brody logo. And overall, there's some pretty dope tees that I'm happy to add to my wardrobe. Now this next piece here is another one that got gifted to me. And this is honestly one of my favorite tees that I own right now. Right here on the front, it says Dreamers Boy Corp which is the brand. So I'll go ahead and leave that in the description, but it also says in green here, life is a dream. And I really just love how off center the text is. It's in a very unique position. And honestly with tees, I'm used to the graphic either being in the center or strictly on the chest. So for it to go over to the sleeve is a really dope idea. And the crazy thing about that is it seems like a very basic tee, but once I turn it around, it has this insane back piece. It's like a Cupid type angel with a halo. And once again, it says life is a dream. Overall, this t-shirt is really amazing. I love both the front and back graphic, the color of the tee, as well as the color of the graphics. And overall, with all the details, as well as the fit, this is just an amazing t-shirt. Now, moving on to item number four, five, and six. These next three items are all from Zara and they're all pretty fire pickups. As you can see from this first one, we got this dope mesh crochet camp collar shirt. It's really dope. I love the pattern on this as well as the, just the way it fits. It's a great summer pickup. And obviously if you guys have been watching the series, you know that I've been loving these camp collar tees and that's not gonna stop. I'm definitely gonna continue wearing these throughout the summer. They're super easy to style and they honestly go with all types of options. I've already gotten a wear out of this and gotten a ton of compliments. So this was definitely a great pickup. Moving on to the second item, we got this dope cream and brown crew neck. And on the front, it says repeat until you reach perfection. I think this is a great sweater that obviously won't work right now for the summer, but I think it's gonna be great for the fall. So I want to go ahead and grab this while I can, especially because this piece was on sale. I have a whole bunch of pieces that will go perfectly with this. Obviously I won't be able to wear it for a few more months, but I can't wait until I can. Now this last piece is the craziest of them all. And it is this purple mohair cardigan. I know this seems like a super crazy piece, but I do love having a few statements in my closet. And I think this one was just super hard to pass up on. Now, I know you guys may think I'm crazy, but you have to see the vision. I have all sorts of fits that I'm ready to bust out in these. I might just rock them with some jorts, or if not, I got the perfect cream pants to pair with these. And honestly, I'm super happy with this pickup, especially after I put it on. I was definitely feeling a little bit iffy when I was unboxing. I did think it was sick, but I didn't know how it was gonna fit. But once I put it on, all my worries went away. I was super happy with the way it sits on my waist. I feel like with this piece in particular, I just can't wait to start styling some fits in it. But that was absolutely everything that I picked up since the last episode. I now do have to do a few calculations, go ahead and figure out where our perfect wardrobe is at. But if I'm being honest, I don't think it's looking too hot. 
Now, it is the next day, but unfortunately, it's time for me to go through the damages of this whole haul. And honestly, it's not looking too pretty. We did make two sales off camera since last episode. The first one being these green paisley shorts from Kinetic Kings. I got $17.75 for these after shipping and fees. And the second piece that I sold was this tee from Change by Lulu. And after shipping and fees, I got $22.50. Now, adding that to my perfect wardrobe fund, I'm all the way up to $130.99. But with those three pieces that I purchased from Zara, I actually spent $130, meaning I literally only have 99 cents left. Now this is honestly the least amount that I've had in my fund since the beginning of this series. So I do wanna spend a few minutes off camera, kind of brainstorming some ideas. I did mention in the last episode that I'm thinking about using some different apps like Grail. Um, I can also sell some pieces through my Snapchat story, which I haven't utilized at all. And I've been neglecting the idea of trading pieces, so I definitely gotta do that too. The first thing I wanna do, I think, is go ahead and go through my closet one more time. See if there's any more pieces I wanna get rid of. Then once I've decided what I want to do next, I'll come and pick up the camera. Oh, and before I forget, if you guys watch my videos, I'm sure you've seen me in one of these hoodies. If not, you always see the sign in the back of every video. This is my brand Nova Market, and we did just drop these hoodies in both purple and black. This is the back of the black, this is the back of the purple. They're amazing quality. We got embroidery on the front, huge multicolor screen print on the back. Not to mention we got our own woven labels. We got French terry cotton on the inside, really just high quality materials, really durable. And as you can see, fits really well. Uh, I'm wearing a large right now now but these are slightly oversized and it does have a vintage wash on top of that and my favorite part of the hoodies are the drawstrings and the waistband that allow you to crop it so you can have that perfect size and have your hoodie sit right at your waist like i have mine but if you guys are interested in grabbing yourself a hoodie they are 75 dollars us shipping and taxes included and they're available from size small to double xl now on my website so if y'all interested i'll leave the link to my website down in the description and if y'all want to support me or my brand this is a great way to do so anyways that's enough paying my bills let's get back to the video i mean it's no surprise i'm broke right now i have only 99 cents in the fund it's been quite a few episodes since i've gotten like any type of considerable sales depop has been slowing down and that is one part of me not posting too often I'm not really doing too much work when it comes to marketing especially through my tiktok like i said i should be doing so honestly instead of just like putting more energy into depop which i honestly don't want to do i'm just gonna try and get sales or trades and like a few different ways. I'm gonna take a few pictures and throw them up on my Snapchat story. See if I can get any sales like that because I have a bunch of local people that I'm sure want some clothes from me. And I might download Grailed as well and then start uploading kind of the same stuff I already have. We have a bunch of Depop. I'm probably only gonna take pictures for about 10 to 12 pieces. See, really just my favorite ones and the ones that I know can sell for sure. And then hopefully when I check back with y'all, I have some sales to update y'all with. So I finally got a sale. This feels like the first sale I've gotten in like two episodes. I'm not too sure, but, but I ended up selling these Carhartt pants here to one of my friends on Snapchat for $35. I think this might be the new method because Depop takes fees and I have to ship. Oh, my Snapchat friends list, it's a lot more local, plus there's absolutely no fees, meaning I'm making a bit more for each sale. Not to mention, although I only got one sale, I got quite a few messages inquiring about the pieces, meaning it's only a matter of time if I keep posting until I get a bunch of sales. But I'm gonna try my best to be more consistent with Snapchat and just keep uploading a lot of the old pieces that I have yet to sell. And whenever I get sales, I'll obviously keep y'all updated. Now, as y'all know, the sales have been a little bit slow recently, and I don't wanna keep trying to push that in trip on like not being able to sell my own pieces. On today's episode, I thought about doing something super exciting and actually just brand new for myself, which is customizing my clothes. Now you may be asking how I plan on doing that. I did just purchase a brand new sewing machine a few weeks ago and I've literally yet to even use it once. I actually just spent a few hours last night watching a tutorial on how to set it up so that I could even use it for today. And basically since I thrift majority of my clothes, a lot of them don't necessarily fit the way that I'd want them to. Sometimes I'm really just a fan of the design or the material, even though it doesn't fit my body perfectly. But now that I have a sewing machine, I can start altering my clothes, making adjustments, and really just customizing anything that I want. The first thing that I want to do just so happens to incorporate this Tinted Future shirt. And I've had this one for a little over a year. And although I love the design on the front, this is a tee that I've been considering selling just because it's a little bit too big. I'm going to go ahead and throw it on for y'all so you can see how it fits. Now after throwing it on, you can see this t-shirt does fit a little bit big. And sometimes when I'm wearing shorts that go above my knee like this, it feels like I'm literally wearing a dress. My first objective is is trying to crop and hem this shirt. If I haven't told y'all already, I have absolutely zero sewing experience. And I mean, like I haven't even hand sewn. I don't know if this is really gonna turn out the best, but what's the harm in trying? Quickly, I'm gonna try and watch a few tutorials and figure out what I'm doing, but I will be back in a few minutes, hopefully ready to start altering this shirt. So basically I got two shirts layered here and the shirt on top is the one that I'm obviously using to measure 
it's a shirt that I love the fit of personally on my body. So right now I'm gonna use this uh, fabric cutter. And this is actually the first time I've ever used one of these. I'm used to just using scissors when I'm cutting clothes. Basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the shirt, get it cropped. Hopefully I do it pretty clean, but once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the workstation and try sewing for the first time. Actually, not that bad. I should have known this, but I should have just did it in one straight line and not picked it up or like stopped. I just didn't know if I was cutting the whole way through at first. On this side is where I, I really picked it up and did a little bit better. So you can see it's pretty straight here. And then I just have, I just have a little bit of fraying and like rough cut over there, but that's obviously gonna be sewn in. I don't know why I was nervous about this part. The next part should be a lot more nerve wracking. I'm gonna go ahead and check the shirt over to the workstation and then try and hem it up. Off camera, I just quickly folded the hem and pinned up the shirt. So I have a straight line to go ahead and sew on now. The sewing machine is set up, I have my threads, did all of that stuff. Now it's time for me to just do the one thing that I haven't yet, which is sewing. So let's go ahead and get to it. It may be horrible, but it's my first ever time. So we're only gonna get better from here. Damn. Nervous, nerves, nerves. I was told by my mom to go ahead and let the pins out as I go and to go very slow. So I'm trying to do that, but obviously like the sensitivity is something that I'm not used to with this foot pedal. This is really the coolest thing to me. Like, since having a clothing brand, like making clothes has obviously been a dream of mine and I'm starting to learn, even though I'm not good yet. Just the fact that I'm learning is like interesting enough. Now, if I'm being brutally honest with the stitch, it's not that great, but for my first ever time, it's not horrible. I got a stitch the whole way through, a patch right there, but Besides that, I got a pretty decent stitch going. See, there's one little zigzaggy area right there in the middle. The stitch isn't that bad, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is trim the excess on the inside, and once that, I have that cut up, um, and then I'll show you all the results, try on the shirt, and we can also compare the before and after. I'm really excited to throw my new refurbished tee on, so I'll catch y'all in just a second. Now, like I said, the shirt isn't perfect, but as you can see, it fits like way, way better. Um, the only thing is it is a little, oh, just slightly longer on this left side. Besides that, it looks pretty damn good. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks all right. It is my first time, so I wasn't expecting it to be perfect. Y'all let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And would y'all be interested in seeing me mess around with the sewing machine a little bit more and making my own custom pieces? Or should I just leave that for off camera and show y'all when I make some fire pieces? Because honestly, this is probably something that I'm gonna be practicing quite a bit. So this is where I'm thinking we're gonna end this week's episode. We haven't gotten any new sales since last checking in. So our current perfect wardrobe fund is at $35.99. I'm hoping to prioritize some sales off camera, although I will be traveling in the next few days. I'm gonna try my best to get the fund up a little bit. So while I'm on my trip, I might be able to do a little bit of shopping. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit it with a like. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see See more of my content and if you've missed any of the previous episodes of this series go ahead and click this playlist here where you can watch all the episodes that have released so far as always make sure to have a good day and peace